Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to race 4 of 36. After today, we'll have completed one-ninth of the season. Last time around, it was Miles Lineheart dominating a wreck fest at Phoenix. So he is your third winner of the race. I apologize for not getting that race uploaded. It got corrupted. <coughs> and just a little bit of a behind-the-scenes moment. I tried recording this race earlier today, but I forgot to export the results. Just like I did with the two Cats 500. So instead of just reconstructing the results based on uh, video stuff, I decided to redo the entire race. Because I did not feel like doing that. On the poll is Alex Miller. Correction, it's Ryan Vaughn, and apparently I start second. Keshiel, Miller, Gorman, your top five. Layden, Honolami, Michaels, Manigan, and Onesto, your top ten. Failing to qualify for this race appear to be R.J. Bishop, who won back at race two, which was um, uh, Taylor Swift Superdome. Demax also fails to qualify along with Evels Vaughn, Natani Kaiser, and Emmanuel Harmat. Time to get this bitch started. Again. So like I said, I had to restart the recording. Or not restart, but redo the recording. So who will win here at Vegas? It was a cloudy race the first time around, but this time around, the actual race, it will be sunny as all fuck. Also, I have a very sore throat and a possible sinus infection. So, in case it's sound on and I don't talk all that much and cough a lot, you'll know why. <coughs> And the green flag is out. We are underway. And already th almost three wide for the lead. Now the three wide for third. Oh, got squeezed there, but no one is wrecked, thankfully. Alex Miller has had a slow start, but it so far hasn't fallen back too much. So all sorts of crazy. Craig manages to holding on to second. Alex Miller manages to hang on to fifth. Dodge darts in four of the top five positions. The other vehicle is a Honda Accord. Also, just want to say that I actually started updating, or excuse me, not updating, but creating the season. Actually, no, I have created the season three templates, and I've started the season three car set. Onesto, or Joseph Onesto, you see him right here. We're focused on him. He'll be driving a number five Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet next season. The Impala he's driving won't exist next season. It'll just be the SS program that Chevrolet has. And the reason why Chevrolet is closing the Impala is because his team is literally the only one who's using it. And because he's moving over to Hendrick Motorsports, which is using the SS, well, and since nobody's using the Impala, boom. No longer using the Impala. Defending champion Cody Long actually started on the pole the first time around and led a decent chunk of laps, but now, apparently, he has a lot of work to do.
So far, this race is playing out similarly to the f first version. A lot of side by side racing farther back in the pack, but the front seems to be all nice and settled out now. Looks like Craig is catching Ryan Vaughn. Yes, that is definitely the case. And they're leaving poor Alana Keshield, the rookie, behind. Andrew Gorman, another rookie, happens to be also racing along and to be left in the dust. Alex Miller's having a great run today so far. And after his debut at Phoenix, he kind of had a rough start. Here comes Darius Light in now to the inside of Michaels. For the seventh position, can't quite get there. Michaels gets the run on the outside. Bryce Rowell has actually failed to qualify the first time around, so luckily for him, he's now in this race, but he's running towards the back, which kind of sucks. Connie Hayner running the retro Gatorade scheme today. Trying to find around a way around Tyler Blader under the 23 car. <coughs> Looks like Ryan Vaughn's starting to pull away from Craig a little bit. Looks like things have settled down here, for the most part. Everybody running a relatively different line than one another. Trying to find the best way around this place. America Shar looks to the inside of the uh, 47 and Joy Ravenhurst can't quite get there. Wait, did Dobbins fail to qualify for this race and I just wasn't paying attention? Oh no, he's running 24th, I just... Wait. 
Did Dominic Cousins not start this race? He qualified for it. Apparently he didn't. What happened to him? Oh, we should pause the race. Oh, he blew a motor and got spun out. Didn't get a chance to get underway. Piers and Avrar officials felt there wasn't enough liquid on the racetrack, or on the racing surface, I should say, to warrant either the race to be halted or for a caution to be thrown just yet. <clears throat> they are saying drivers should be careful when they leave the pit road, which, by the way, we're about five to ten laps away from pit stops here because the pit window is 25 to 30 laps so it's a three stop race at the very least <coughs> Bryce Rowell is trying to make a move on Cody Lamas for 35th Completes path, or rather, thirty fourth. My bad. Pit strategy did come into play the first time around. Will it come? Will it come into play this time around? Also, it was announced this week that Jacob Crago will begin using Quaker State as <coughs> another primary sponsor starting the first race that he that pops up because you know the game randomizes which scheme is used. In last time around. And last time around, I believe he was in his original uh, modern day Gatorade scheme. I, he was definitely in his good run scheme. <clears throat> I forget what scheme he was in. Andrew Eckroth was in his NOS scheme, and he was in his alternate scheme, so. Yeah. So whatever race that Crago, or the game decides Crago uses it, that's the first race that Quaker State will be on board. Crago's keeping good pace with the two car, and Lonnie Keshiel hasn't fallen too far behind him. But it looks like Andrew Gorman's holding the rest of these guys up a little bit.
We see Manigan on the inside of the seven car for ninth. Also announced Pontiac is switching over from the Grand Prix to the Sunfire next season. more laps we will see pit stops by the way so who will decide to come down pit road like anybody does this time by. So now Michaels tries to go on to the inside of Sami Hononanami, fails to, as now Joseph Nesta will go to the outside of Michaels. Teammates now battling for the seventh position. And we have pit stops. Trace Lakes is the first one to dive on the pit road, followed by Merrick Ishtar. Tang is on pit road. Parks, Corbett, the 18, and defending champion Lamas are all on pit road. Crago's coming down pit road at this time by. Miller has. Crago has Miller, Honolami, Michaels, Manigan. Leiden, Blade Runner, Hainer, and a whole bunch of other drivers are coming with him. Like, like a majority of the remaining field. Here comes the leader now. And the 14 to Gorman is staying out another lap. Gorman will lead this lap as Trace Legacy comes off the pit road now. Gorman will be the last car to pit. As Craig now comes out of pit road, here comes 60 of Onesto who had a great stop. Now the traffic jam off of pit road commences. Here comes Gorman, or, yeah, Gorman now. Can Crago beat Vaughn off of pit road? Well, Vaughn has just left pit road. Crago's entering turn one now. It's going to be close. Here comes Crago now. To the outside of Vaughn. Crago passes Vaughn. This might be for the lead. Here comes Onesta now. He will take third with Trace Lexi getting really close to Keshiel there. And Onesto. <coughs> Trace with the run to against Onesto to the inside. Gorman coming off pit road right now. Crago has inherited the lead with great pit strategy by the looks of it, with as big as a lead as he has. And Gorman has lost a ton of spots. He might lose a couple more here. We'll see. Trace Legacy is now in third, though. Ernesto is up to fourth. And Miller rounds out your top five. How Merrick Ishtar is now in 6th. Can he capitalize on another good run? Psst, he won the last time I recorded this race earlier today. 
So, Merrick Ishtar, obviously great at speedways. Can he win again? We'll find out. For now, Craig leads with a huge margin over Ryan Vaughn. Lexi, however, only four seconds back now. Can he get up to these guys and have a moment to shine? And Gorman has indeed fallen three more positions back. Tang rounds out your top ten. And it looks like Legacy is indeed catching Crago along with Onesto. <clears throat> Come to think of it, Ryan Vaughn also was catching Crago that time by. Here comes Vaughn now, trying to get to Crago. Cut the lead down over half. Or cut down over, or cut. He cut down the lead by more than 50%. That's what I was trying to say, but. Didn't seem like it said it right the first time. Anyways. Seems like Crago may be either conserving or something might be wrong with that 62. Either way, here comes Ryan Vaughn now trying to get to that back bumper. To try and make the pass for the lead. Crago may have just stretched out the lead slightly there by a few hundredths of a second. <coughs> but Legacy and Ernesto are still closing. I believe these guys back here are also closing. But here comes Rarkish Charge to the inside of Alex Miller now. Or excuse me, inside. I think yes, it is. I think I said outside. I meant to say inside, but you know what I meant. <clears throat> now, Sami Hono... <laughs> Talking fast, trying to think. Sami Hononami to the inside of the 86. Seems like every time Vaughn closes, Krago... Pulls away. Just that much more. <clears throat> Legacy on Onesto. Still catching though. Vaughn looks like he's now catching. Miller Light might lose another spot. To Alana Keshiel now. It's a whole bunch of cars. Right behind. Miller, Miller manages to hold on. Never mind. The two car closed a little bit that time. The four and sixty closed a lot that time. Looks like the thirty-three closed a whole bunch as well. Crago pulls away that time, but here comes the four and sixty. Against closes and now Legacy and Ernesto are there as we're closing in I'm halfway through this race 
Legacy looking to try and get away around Ryan Vaughn. Couldn't quite get it done there. Because of this, Craigle was able to find a way to pull up. Or pull ahead of Vaughn, but now here comes Vaughn. Looks like Vaughn may have brake checked out of turn two. Here comes Legacy to his inside. Can't quite get there. Meantime, the rest of the field closing in. Crago opens up some breathing room. Here comes Onesta to the inside of Lexi now. Looks like the rest of the field are closing in. As we're actually also closing in on our second round of pit stops. About five to ten laps away from that. Here comes Legacy now to the inside of Vaughn in turn number one. This is what Craigo wants to see. He wants to see side-by-side -side racing behind him so that way he can pull away. Vaughn is fighting hard on the outside. Manages to hold off Legacy for now. Craigle's pulling away though. Ernesto is pulled up to them. Ernesto thinking about making the three wide. Can't quite get their legacy back to the inside of Vaughn. As we're past halfway now. In fact, it was halfway at the line. Legacy to the inside of Vaughn now. And now Ernesto to the inside of Vaughn as Legacy clears the two car. Craigle continues to pull away as they race side by side. The rest of the field catching up as well. Legacy now setting his sights on to the lead. Further back in the field, it looks like Joshua Michaels had a terrible pit stop. Went from top 10 to fighting to stay in the top 20, or sorry, to fighting in the mid 20s. Legacy to the pack bumper of Crago. Looks to the inside. Crago blocks though. Don't look now, but it looks like Ishtar and uh, Hononami are here. Trace Legacy once again looking inside Crago for the lead. Crago still continues to block. Looks like Legacy tried to break check coming out of that turn to get a run, but here comes Onesto. Now to the inside of Legacy. Can't quite get there. Legacy and Crago both pull away. Legacy is there. He goes to the inside of Crago now in turn number one. He will clear Crago. Here comes Onesto now to the inside. As Legacy takes the lead, can Onesto take second? With pit stops rapidly approaching. There's a whole lot of cars here waiting to take advantage. Ernesto clears Crago. Here comes Vaughn back to the inside of Crago now. Crago might find a hole here. Here comes the 33, though. Is anybody pitting? Does not look like it. Alex Miller to the inside of Honunami as well. As Craig will find a hole because of that. <clears throat> Does anybody short pit and 
So that way... Th they can make up a few spots now? Or... So does anybody short pit now and make up a few spots later? Or do they find a way to... Or do they wait until the last possible second to pit? Who knows? Sonar or Asami is trying to find a way around Krago now. Trace Legacy pulling away from Monesto. Clean Air helping Legacy a lot. Asami to the inside of Krago now. Cashiel to the inside of Miller. Now Keshil's to the inside of Krago. And here comes Jackie Tang to the inside of Miller. Onesto starting to catch Legacy. Keshil has cleared Krago, but Miller has hang on or was able to hang on for his position from Tang. As Lexi hits pit road. Onesto leads the lap. Here comes Merrick Ishtar for second. Who hits pit road this time by Ishtar Miller? Twenty-seven, ninety-nine, twelve, twenty-three, seventy-one, and a whole bunch of other cars. Who pits this time by? Looks like Ernesto will. Keshiel does not. Craigo will, but the fourteen and eighty-two won't. Remember, Gorman pitted last, last time around, and, so, and was still able to hang on to the top 10. Lama's now pulling on pit road. Trace Legacy already off. The eight car of Alex Hawkins will go another lap around and might inherit the lead here. He will. 97 92 will now pit. Who will be the leader? Here comes the people who were leaders. The zombie has a great stop and gets off. First. But Legacy might have just passed her for the lead. Ishtar might have just passed her for second. Let's see who will be cycling at the line. Eight cars just now pulling off pit road. Here comes the four of Trace Legacy, though. Trace Legacy is now your leader. Merrick Ishtar is second. And Asami Hononami will cycle as third. Frego must have had a slow stop. But he looks now to the inside of the 82 of Zen Langathan now. Trace Legacy with a huge lead now. Merrick Ishtar second. <coughs> I hate being sick.
the two of Ryan Vaughn now back in fourth. Next time by, it will be 30 laps to go. It is now Hondo versus Scion. And then Chevy versus Dodge. And then Honda versus Dodge. Then Ford versus Impala versus Honda versus Chevy versus Dodge. The highest running Pontiac. Caddy and Mannequin in 12th. Then again, there aren't that many Pontiacs in this field anyway. So here comes Vaughn for third. The zombie's fighting back on the outside hard. Vaughn takes the spot. Here comes now Ariana Parks, who has worked her way up into a top five spot and now takes over fourth. And here comes Alex Miller now, trying to take advantage of Asami, still riding the high line. Can't quite get there, Asami will fall in line. Merrick Ishtar is catching Trace Legacy. Is, can Merrick Ishtar win two Las Vegas races in a single day? So like I said, I recorded this earlier, and Merrick Ishtar was the winner of the first one. So, eh. Anyways, but... He is quickly catching Legacy, though. <clears throat> Here comes Parks after the inside of Vaughn for third. And now Sami is going to try and take advantage of Vaughn being stuck on the outside himself. Will Asami taking three wide? No, thankfully. This is it. They will need to make one more stop to make it all the way to the end, though. I also, in I also like how the fact that the previous race, Phoenix, was a wreck fest, while this one it has no damn cautions ever. Oh! It appears that the 18 of Jackie Tang is on pit road now. Possibly short pitting, or is he repairing damage? Sitting here for a really long time. Was running seventh back on lap 68 when he is all suddenly just hits or hits the apron and then hits the wall, huh? Well, he's now leaving hit road as American Star has taken the lead. Let's rewind once again to view the pass of the lead that took. Six and a half turns. So like he went to the inside in turns one and two, couldn't quite clear him. Drag race down the deck straightaway into turn three and four. Drag race down the front straightaway, led the lap, and then finally cleared him. Cool. He 
Looks like Ernesto will now lose a spot to Zen Langathan as now Craigo goes to the inside of 32. Twenty laps to go now here at Vegas. Ryan Vaughn to the inside of Okay, never mind. We are getting more that officials are looking in turns one and two to see if there are any fluids or debris or anything that might be of concern on the racing line. But I haven't found anything yet. We will keep you updated as we get information. was not able to make the move on uh, Alan Blitz or Paul Blitz I mean but speaking of Alan Blitz so he actually also led laps in the earlier edition of this race and whatnot but actually I think he led the most laps but I can't tell because I didn't export that race it was actually pretty exciting I had a Five-man battle for the lead at the end. Hopefully we can have something of the same effect here. So we're rapidly closing in 10 to go. And we might have a battle for not quite last place. Ariana Park's having a stellar day, of course, today. Alex Miller also having a stellar day. Certainly better than the first time I ran this race today. Also certainly better than Phoenix, where I believe... I, I actually have no idea where he finished in Phoenix. But I think he had a horrible day at Phoenix. Lonnie Cash, still having a great run today as a rookie. Jackie Tain has caught up to the leaders, but he's... How many laps down? Four laps down, so it's he's not going to affect anything. Much. If at all. <clears throat> well, it's getting word that turn one is, for the most part, free and clear of anything that might cause a caution. So, we're staying green. So we see Ravenhurst battle Mahari and Hainer battle Born. Hey, Battleborn, one of the clans in Skyrim. Also, heads up, Mass Effect 2 is free on Origin. So just figure out to plug that in there. Hashtag not sponsored. Ten laps to go, and they still have to make another pit stop. Potentially. <clears throat> oh! 
We got one car stopped on the back straightaway. That is Alan Bledsoe, a heartbreak for him. And he caught him out as he is stopped on the track. Well, on the apron and safety strikes have to push him. You know what I meant. As Merrick Ishtar takes the caution, the pace car rolls out. Tough break for the 24 car. Now we'll see who gets a great stop. And the 82 doesn't look like he's pitting. Is Zen Lengthen trying to get some bonus points for leading a lap? Everyone else seems to be pitting. I mean, Merrick Ishtar will... Oh, no. Never mind. Langathan did leave the lab. But Langathan might be trying to get some bonus points for later on. But it won't exactly help him if he can't get the win. It's a shame I don't have anybody being a co-host. So that way I can have some co-commentary and get a second opinion on this. Marigastar has pulled off first. Keshiel has pulled off second. Miller has had a slow stop. I think, maybe. <coughs> Jackie Tang, of course, already pitted. Alan Bledsoe back on track, hearing it was a fuel issue for the 24 team. Tang and the 82 do not pit. Hang on, folks. This is going to get wild. We're having one lap to go until we go green. And after that, a five lap shootout to decide the winner. <clears throat> Zen Langathan in the 82 is your leader. America is started the first car off pit road in second. Keshiel, Vaughn, Legacy, your top five. Jackie Tang is still two laps down. Three laps down, my bad. So ignore him. And the green flag is out. Zen Lincoln immediately pulls to the outside to try to get around Jackie Tang. And here they come. Three wide for the lead as they go into turn number one. Zen Langathan is slow on the start, but now here comes Ryan Vaughn with a chance to win. Alani Keshiel trying to find a one way around Jackie Tang. Can't quite get around him. Merrick Ishtar, your leader, and will clear Keshiel coming off of four. Four laps to go. Vaughn to the inside of Keshiel now as they go into turn number one. Here comes... Uh, never mind, I thought Ishtar was to the inside of Tang. Never mind, but Vaughn will clear Keshiel off of turn number two. Will Jackie Tang affect the outcome? Willingly or not? Who knows? Three laps to go now as they come across the stripe. As the caution has come out for Big Rick in turn number four. Corbett involved. Alex Miller involved. The 88 of Chase Carpenter. And oh boy.
Looks like the 82 might have been trying to get to pit road and... Oh boy. Chain reaction. <coughs> the 88 tries to get... Or excuse me, 82 tries to get down to pit road. Everybody break checks and... Cody Hayner just nowhere to go. Cannot get woke up in time. Huge wreck. Involved Tyler Blade Runner has massive damage to his hood. Can't quite get the car slowed up. Might have lost his front brakes. Man, massive leak to the outside wall for Chase Carpenter in the 88. Ooh. That was a very hard hit for both the 88 and the 8. Joshua Michaels does a great job avoiding Carpenter there. Still gets in the wall, though. Riles gets a piece of it. Kiro gets a piece of it. Ooh, and Alan Bledsoe goes spinning as well. Not sure if he was spun or just locked up the brakes and got turned. Speaking of Alan Bledsoe, we're going to be on his onboard roof camp for this one. car there. Looks like he will have terminal damage as he comes down on the pay road. On board with Kona Hainer. There's CMs trying to get woed up. Can't quite get woed up. the 82 car now. And I believe this is it for this race as well. <coughs> as we'd have to get the one to go signal this time by in order for the race to end under green. this race will end under caution 
which means all Merrick has to do is pace around for two more laps. And he will be considered the winner of this race. As now the 18 quick born has an issue. And he's will stop on the apron of the track. <coughs> Bloodsell is retired. Carpenter's retired. Kieran Hawkins also retired. A lot of eyes will be glancing at the 82's pit box, probably. <clears throat> Second race in a row that's ended under caution here. This white flag is now being displayed along with the yellow flag. Quickborn quickly dropping in position after having to do something or other. Blade Runner making another pit stop. And off of turn number four, behind the pace car. <clears throat> Flagman displaying the checkered flag alongside the yellow flag. Oh, looks like quick born blue tire under caution. And because of this crash, Jackie Tang also will be able to finish 33rd instead of 35th. Or 36th, something like that. So I guess lucky him. But it looks like Merrick Ishtar is still your winner at Vegas, even after the second try. And, and here, just the way I don't have to do this a third time. Well, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. Congratulations, America Ishtar, for winning the race. Vaughn, Parks, Legacy, Keshiel, Hononami, Gorman, Onesso, Ravenhurst, and Bledsoe, your top ten. Paul Bledsoe, that is. Anyways, we will see you at the next race, folks. I forgot to see what it is, though. So... I may have a... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I forgot where the next race is. <laughs> Ow. Hopefully it won't be sick. Unless I do, like, right after. <laughs>